not a bad company. So, you know, I'm on, as usual, I'm on campus, you know, and, uh, and uh, outside my office building, and there's a PhD student, there's a master's student, and, uh, and they were talking, they were talking, and, uh, you know, sister walked by, I guess she's an undergraduate. The PhD student, he got a reputation, he got to hug all the women, you know, you know, with his, <laughs> uh, as always doing that, and, you know, and he was saying something, you know, cute, like, you know, this is my, my wife, and, you know, and I said, oh, well, what, which wife is this, you know, and then I quickly said, well, then I asked her, and, you, and I said, well, she's, she can have other husbands, right? And so we went through this whole thing, blah, 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 blah. and it ended up really, it got to like Adam and Eve, how man started, man's nature, how it started, so, so, okay, well, okay, so anyway, I, I said, well, you know, Adam had two wives, you know, he divorced one, and he you know, ended up with Eve, but he had this, and they said, well, you know, he had a wife named Lilith, and, you know, she was, like, really equal, and she didn't come from his rib. They were created at the same time, and blah, blah. No, no, kid, he's a, he's a master student. No, 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 this is, this is, this is blasphemy, blah, blah, blah. That's what, excuse me, it's, it's in your Bible. I'm like, I, I'm not, I read the Bible twice through, and then I had Bible studies. I'm telling you, it's in the, <laughs> then he's going, no, no, I said, well, just, just look it up. I mean, we're on campus, let's, let's go down to the office and look it up. Computer, you know, internet or whatever. No, no, says blah blah blah. To the other, the, the PhD guy, he got on his device and you know found it and started reading. And the guy stuck on no, no, no. I'm going like, wow, this is just you know, on campus. This is a master doing. He won't even research. I mean, he won't. I mean, okay, I'll say I'm wrong. Fine. Boom, that's my thing. Anyway. So then it got me to thinking. I'm going like, now. But, you know, we've been undercut, we being Africans, have been undercut, you know, a lot. I mean, you know, first you had the, you know, the, the uh, you know, merchants from, you know, the Arab merchants, and they had a system that was cool, and the, then you had the, the European merchants, you know, something like that. And then, I guess, somebody had a brilliant idea, you know. <clears throat> Some Europeans came down and, and uh, what, what, what's the, you know, so we had that economic system, you know, then, then you know, you got to get the, you know, the religious people, whatever have you, and you even had that, uh, uh, what, what's that sister that, 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 that got the vision and, and uh, you know, told her uncle who was the, you know, the you know, main guy for the chief, and the, and the vision said, kill all the cattle, what, what, what was her name, what's her, what's her name? Nankasa. Nankasa? Nankasa, yeah. Nankasa, that's what he said. What does it mean? And what does Nankasa mean? Hey. It's just a name. Just a name. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, so, but what happened, from my understanding, I read it, well, I read uh, this book, uh, American author James Michener, called, I think, uh, The Covenant or something like that. And I, I first read that story there. And then uh, my man, Sheppy Marti from, you know, uh, from Cape Town, he, uh, he's, he's closer, and he told me the story another way, right? And then you gave me that book, you know told me the story, I said, wow. But basically what it was, from my understanding, is that, you know, there was this, you know, European who, who knew the language and the, and the culture, and, and there was something, and the, and the girls or women would always go down to the river to wash it, wash the clothes or whatever have you. So it was just this a cavernous area, and so he, he just was up in a certain area, and so his reflection is on the water, and so he says, you know, what he says, we can kill the cattle, whatever it is, and she sees in the river, so she, you know, she's, let's, I don't know how old she was, you know, 13, whatever, she was a young girl. And so she goes back and reports and, so the, and tells the chief, and it was just my understanding maybe having a couple of times. The point is, the chief and them, I mean, they didn't investigate. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm going to look at me and the girl, puts them, maybe it's a favorite niece of the uncle or whatever the situation is, but they didn't investigate, you know. Mm -hmm. so they just killed the cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now what, and there was a lot of other stuff happening, but the point is, so remember that cattle was your currency. Mm -hmm. So basically, that got rid of your currency. Now here's here's where I give my interpretation. Again, I'm not a historian, I'm just an audio dramatist, so I could be wrong, you know. But, you know, they basically said, hey, but we got something else. You know, here's the queen with her picture or whatever have you. This is your currency from now on. So, you know, you all you got rid of your currency for this currency and and the story goes on. But the point is you know, every every in every aspect, you know, I mean, I've been reading this cat here. Just a little bit of, you know, I've just started to, um, 
Man, Mango Liso Subukwe. You know, he's graduate at University of Fort Hare. Mm -hmm. Oops, Fort Hare. So was, back then it was called Fort Hare College or something like that. I don't know what, what they called it, you know, something like that. Any rate. So and this like a native college. Yeah, so, so the point is, you know, he's saying stuff and going, like, wow. But what it is, basically, every system that you have, you know, the, 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 the economic system, the military, you know, again, the military in there, the, um, you know, the, the social system, I guess the social is also the religious system, you know. I mean, those, edu edu everything, education system, was basically kind of cut, you know. And, and even when the colonialists supposedly left, which they didn't leave, they did such a job, you know, and, um, and my brother died in prison. Um, and my younger brother died in prison, I'll tell you this. But, you know, in the prison system, they have what they call a trustee, you know. Mm -hmm. So even when the authorities are gone, we're not around. The trustee makes sure <laughs> I stay in line. So man, I'm, I'm not gonna call anybody no names or nothing like that. But it seems to me the situation is right now, even though the colonial was left, the trustees, namely Wees, <laughs> mm. keep on the same program. I mean the, the the water doesn't have to be around. And so I'm just thinking, well, why don't, why don't we, you know, really research this stuff. We got enough African universities and and it's not just to, to be an, a, an academic of course after after all the whole apartheid situation started with some academics in Stellenbosch University. They came up with the idea even though you hear blah, blah, blah. So uh, you know so I'm just thinking these cats I mean you could, I just was finished reading something if I can get to it here I don't want to you know be labored up to the point was not that, but uh, there was one thing say, uh, uh, <clears throat> he was talking about race, right? and he said the way they break it down, or, you know, the way they, they got it, is like the, some some cat, you know, who was the ex, you know, engine mechanic, he because he's white or he's European, he he could become president of of a of a, of a country. Uh, he's South African, but some uh, 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 African, you know, he might be a PhD, but, but he he will, he's not. It's it's crazy, you know. But that's because. But here's the here's the real thing about this whole religion thing. I'm going like, there are African theologians who know about this stuff, but they allow the preachers to do the popular thing. African theologians who study, who understand this stuff, even understand that there are books in the Bible, because the Bible is edited by, well, by European, mm. <laughs> King James, I mean, whatever it is. You know, they left stuff. You know, King James is a boy sitting around you know, in England, whatever, and they're getting rid of stuff. So, you know, and even, well, anyway, so that's, that, that's, that's what upsets me most, you know, the lack of research. You know? mm -hmm. That's the, I mean, even to this day, we just do the, the easy thing or the whatever thing. So, I mean, we have to deal with this. I mean, I will even tell you this. Even much we, much we can rail about the United States of North America, when they started, because they wasn't doing a religious thing. Remember the educational system? It, most people were educated by the Bible, but when they got a school system, it's because they had a separation of church and state. And the, and the school system was under the state. They understood that the folks wouldn't understand if they just threw anything in there. So they know that by the time when the Bible was being edited in the English thing, it was like what what they call let's call it Shakespearean English. And that's not what it's really called. I'm just calling Shakespearean English. So what they did, they used Shakespeare instead of the Bible to teach, because it was sort of like the same language. I mean, to this day, that's why you get a lot of old, you understand what they did. But at least they had. They know what to do. We, <laughs> Look, I don't want to be frustrated. It's uh, one of those good days in South Africa, nice and sunny and bright. <laughs> so I just leave it. And this is uh, this is one of those dispatches from the arts director emeritus. That would be me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to the pit, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>